Welcome to our next video getting started with ASP.NET Core using Visual Studio Code. So in this one we're going to see a couple more tools uh, terms you can actually say Visual Studio Code, Yeoman, Node.js and uh, you know a uh, couple of other tools required for to complete this session. So uh, the first thing is uh, we need to have Visual Studio Code uh, you know installed on Visual Studio Code uh, you, you can download and install it on your machine so Visual Studio Code is an IDE which is cross-platform and they're made by Microsoft which can run on Linux, OS X or Windows it can work with a lot of languages like TypeScript, JavaScript, C Sharp uh, many many languages it can work with and it's completely open source as well so Visual Studio Code is what we are going to, you know, we can actually use if you don't want to go with the full full fledged version of Visual Studio. So another tool, another tool, another couple of tools which you need is the Node Package Manager and Yeoman. So Node 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 .exe is basically is we need Node and Yeoman to, you know, create the templating system. So uh, how do we actually, how did we actually create a new project in uh, SBNet Core uh, using using Visual Studio? You just go to the new project, create a new project, and select SBNet Fire template, and it'll automatically create the template for you or the project base project structure for you. The base project contains uh, a basic login mechanism or controllers required for login and uh, master layout and you know all the configuration, some basic configuration settings and stuff like that. So what if you want to do the same thing without Visual Studio? The, and say you're going to develop using Visual Studio Code. So Visual Studio Code is you can basically you know um, create or uh, edit uh, all the code files like C Sharp or anything, but it doesn't have a templating system like Visual Studio as of now. So for that, we will use something called Yeoman. Yeoman is a um, is a tool where you can generate templates, project templates. Say you want to create a new Angular or Backbone uh, project system from scratch, uh, you can use Yeoman packages for that. So Yeoman allows you to create custom packages and Yeoman can download and run this and then uh, create this template system for you just with one command. So we will see how that is done. And also, we also need the ASP.NET Core tooling, and obviously the Visual Studio C++, Visual C++ redistributable. If you're using uh, on Win if you're on Windows 7, okay. So let's get started. So uh, the creating uh, the first uh, the projects, um, the ASP.NET Core projects is basically you have to have Node install npm and all these packages installed. So go and install Node.js, and if you don't have it. Um, just download Node, install Node.js, it will automatically install the npm as well. And once you install the Node.js, you go run this command, okay, npm install. And this will install uh, four packages, basically Yeoman, Bower, Grant, CLI, the CLI, and the Gulp uh, packages, the Node packages to uh, install it globally. So the hyphen G switch shows that we are installing it globally. So uh, the machine wide installation of this once it's complete. So I have already started that. So I have run um, these installations and um, then you have to run another command which is npm install fng and generate ASP.NET. So generator is something which used by Yeoman and uh, to Yeoman basically say I want to create a backbone or a, a, a uh, Angular project system in my when I'm going to start a new Angular project. So what you can do is you can say your uh, Angular uh, project it will automatically project create that Angular base project structure for you. So for that you need to have the Angular generator installed on the machine. So similarly to get ASP.NET basic project system you need to have generator ASP.NET installed and that's what this command does. Okay, and once you have these two installed, the next step is you can actually go to a directory of your choice, or you can just go to um, in, in your in your base directory. So I have the command line open here. So I am in VS Code demos folder, and I'm running a command called yo ASP.NET. What it does is it will ask you what kind of projects you want to create, like an empty application with base configuration, or a console web application, or MEC or web API stuff like that. So what I'm gonna choose is I'm gonna choose choose a base web application and it will ask you what kind of what is the name you want and I'm saying VS code you know demo okay and it will create the base structure for me and if I check 
and I'm going to VS Code demo and if I show you so this is what uh, you have created by your template system which is the yeoman so you have base structure created and all the required you know stuff to run ASP.NET Core is automatically there so that's what ASP.NET Core or the yeoman does or gives you uh, help so this is the all the slides are there in the slide uh, the slide deck available in the debugging.io website okay and once you do that it's easy to start coding so basically you do code and then specify the current directory code is uh, you know the code dot exe is what visual studio code is and you have your visual studio code exe and you can actually see that i'm able to you know open up the project just like that okay so that's uh, i have javascript i have i can open my configuration settings and so and other other all the projects stuff i just I just created using the yeoman and you can download you can you know start working on this so um, this is the base generator as of now this generator is not properly you know um, created with Visual Studio the latest version of .NET I'm using I'm using an RTM version an RC2 version and this generator is not properly updated yet but I'm going to show you uh, a project directly created using the .NET CLI project which we already had so I'm going to open up another um, project which I generated so when you when by the time you see this you would be using your mind to generate the project for you okay so let's see how that so once you have the project open I'm gonna go to um, open up the hello MVC project so I'm gonna go to hello.mvc okay and I'm gonna show you okay that so this is my project system so you can see that I opened the project system so uh, just because this is beta uh, I opened it from the CLI sample website okay I have uh, given the um, uh, link in the slide deck so but by the time you would see this you can generate the project using your man and open it using um, the Visual Studio code and Visual Studio code also requires uh, two more additional thing when you actually develop using the .NET CLI okay so which is uh, let me go to the slide and so this is the base project so we saw so we need to have uh, the .NET installed and also the Omnishop VS Code extension. Okay, so what we we need is um, uh, we have to install the right version of SDK in your machine, and once you have it installed, uh, you also have to have the Omnishop VS Code extension. Okay, so Omnishop is a product a project which is uh, which will make uh, all these IDs, all these cross-platform IDs possible. So we will discuss this in the next video. What is Omnishop and how it helps to for us to develop projects in ASP.NET or .NET Core. Okay, so uh, download uh, the latest release of this and once you have it you can actually open your project and say i want to debug my project and uh, see this is the same procedure whether you are on os x or linux all you need to do is go to the debug tab and here i have already selected dotnet core launch okay and i'm gonna run this guy and it will so now without the visual studio or any such heavy installation you are debugging your ASP.NET Core project directly inside Visual Studio Code. Okay, and this is a very lightweight process, and it can, uh, and you can see that I am debugging service.admcc and directly inside the project. Okay, all, all we need is uh, the .NET Core uh, SDK and Visual Studio Code Runner. Which is this is a very lightweight way to you know develop your application, and it's the same when you actually develop on OS X or Linux or other OSs or Windows. Okay, so and now I'm, I'm running running this, and let me go to and you can see that it's uh, you can debug that and then uh, run your application. Okay, so all you have to do is. Uh, I run it from command from here. Let me exit this guy and going back here and run this. 
okay so I have an image and a hello world printed okay so it's currently running okay okay it's currently running so I'm going to uh, and you can see that it's running from localhost 5000 and here's my code so let me go and edit the files okay recently changed file is this guy I'm just in new hello world I'm gonna save this and I'm gonna come back and you can see this this is my hello world press is printed I'm gonna refresh this guy and see it's changed so I don't have to no recompilation nothing you are just debugging your SNET core project and without any heavy tools like Visual Studio or the full runtime all you need is the .NET SD Core SDK and Visual Studio Code and also the C Sharp um, Visual Studio Code C Sharp extension uh, which will be automatically be detected by the time when you simply open up the file or you project in uh, Visual Studio Code okay so as of now it is not there so that's why I had to go one extra step but when you actually run using your your man and create a new project it will automatically be there once uh, um, the, the SPNet Core hits RTM so this the version which I am giving you demo is RC2 so it's not there as in that so coming back to our slide deck and what we can see is that we we have uh, created our first application in Visual Studio Code and also we saw that how we can debug uh, the Visual Studio Code in Visual Studio Code the SPNet Core project and um, start developing our application thank you for watching